Not only did I go to the top of a 12,000 foot mountain and film the most epic B-roll, but I also took photos and filmed this location with like a million silver baubles and then stumbled upon this thing that looked like the inside of a spaceship. Now I did all of this because my buddy Hayden Peterson is in town visiting Aspen for the holidays. So I'm super pumped that Hayden hit me up because to be honest with you guys, being born and raised in Aspen is amazing. But I do have my moments of feeling very isolated because I am a creator. I am a full-time YouTuber and I live in a really small town where there really isn't anyone else Come to think about it, I think I'm the only one that lives here that does this full time. As a creator, you have to work with other like-minded people and I don't get the opportunity to do this often. Therefore, I'm really excited to work with Hayden. And if you don't know who Hayden Peterson is, well. Today, I actually hit a car. That's him. Hayden is a super talented filmmaker and photographer from Australia. The guy's a legend. And he hit me up to shoot some photos and film some B-roll for one of his YouTube videos. Go which is a brand deal with a computer company. I've never met Hayden before. I actually connected with him on Instagram like three years ago. Some people want to join my live stream. Uh, Jamie Fenn. I don't know, probably like two years. Hey, hey, what's going on, brother? We also don't have any serious game plans, so my main goal is to just go get some really sick B-roll and see what happens. So of course, on one of the snowiest days we've had so far, he texts me and says, hey, do you want to help me out? So I was like, fuck. really hard with one hand, by the way. This is the sketchiest spot in Aspen where people hit each other all the time. All right, Hayden, you better get the shot because I risked my life to basically come meet you. <laughs> Are you like a YouTuber or something? I'm taking pictures. Today, I actually hit a car. I fucking hit a car. Yeah, I was driving and I, like, I, I tried to stop and then I just slid. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh but only, it was God. only like the tiniest scratch, so it's fine. The first location we went to is a hotel downtown called The W. We weren't sure if we were going to get kicked out or not. How's it going, man? Welcome. Yeah, thanks. Is it okay if we film in here? Okay, cool. Thanks. Awesome. Yes! We were greeted with drinks, and we were also so excited to get some awesome shots. Oh my god, what? Look how many bloody baubles there are. So immediately we started taking photos, we started recording a little bit, and we did run into some challenges, like the lighting wasn't very good at first. It's kind of hard to shoot, but it's still fucking sick. The backdrop wasn't completely full of bubbles. Well, what me and Jamie were thinking was like, we could have like, obviously there's heaps of baubles there, which is great, but we want to exaggerate it in Photoshop, so maybe we can like add more baubles from the baubles that we already have. As amazing as this is, there's another spot that we're gonna have to go check out because it's gonna be, I think maybe even better. The DJ booth, which was actually right above it. And this thing looks like it's out of the movie Alien or like Star Trek. It looks so cool, especially with the wide angle lens. Holy shit. What the f and this next spot actually had a lot of challenges in itself. It's hard though, it's hard because it's like uneven. It's unlike even. It is perfectly symmetrical, so it's actually really hard to get the camera perfectly lined up with somebody. Just the difference of moving your hands like that much makes the whole photo look skewed. So you have to get it as perfect as you can. But we did spend some time trying to figure out how to take photos and videos with this like flashing random sphere of light. And then we figured out later, all we had to do was push a button and we could get constant light. <laughs> now those shots were pretty cool. So apparently Hayden wants to get a suit and go to the top of Aspen Mountain. But I don't have a suit, so... We went to our local thrift store and found a suit for him to wear. Oh, this is perfect. He put on the suit. <laughs> and we headed up the gondola. Holy shit. We picked a good day. So then we walked out to this vantage point with this incredible view. Seeing Hayden's reaction when he saw the mountains was awesome. Oh my God, I can't even get over this. After experimenting with different angles and different lenses, the wind started to pick up, so I needed to pull out my gimbal real quick to get some shots. All right, so I just got back from the top of Aspen, threw the SD card in, 
And although not everything went as smoothly as it could, I actually hit a car. Yeah, so you never know what's gonna happen. It's kinda hard to shoot. But my hands are honestly getting really fucking cold. I'm still really proud and really stoked about the shots that I got. Working with Hayden has inspired me to be a better creator because I saw his creative process. We talked about storytelling and I just got to know him on a personal level. Not only did I meet just another creator, but I made a really good friend.